I am definitely at the Run Disney Expo. I'm here to pick up my race bib and other things. Let's go check it out. Now be sure to stay for this video because I'm going to show you all the race merchandise that they have for this weekend. And some of it I've heard is kind of interesting, but I haven't looked into it, so we'll see what it looks like. Everybody's posing for pictures in front of the ESPN globe. <laughs> Making your way over to the race bid pickup area and this t-shirt pickup area. Looks like a fair amount of people are exiting. They've already got their race bib. Looks like there's actually a small line to go inside to pick up your race bibs. This is a first. It's also the first time I've been here on the first day of the expo here at Run Disney. This is definitely a longish line, but that's actually kind of good for us. The reason why I'm fine with waiting today is they have a virtual queue for the main shop merchandise, and we still have like 25 minutes to wait for that virtual queue. I've heard that last year the queue for the merchandise was like two hours long the first day, so I'm actually glad they have this virtual queue. They have a little poster that you can take a picture with. And of course this is what the big hall looks like where you pick up all your race bibs. Over here is where you pick up your bib for the 5k, and then over here you have the 10k, right there, and then half marathon case you need a runner services or anything like that and then over here is where you pick up the challenge and that's where I picked up mine because I'm doing two courses 19.3 miles it's interesting but this is my corral placement and it looks like it spells out the word dick uh, I'm corral D for the 10k and corral C for the half marathon I'm pretty glad I got those corrals that I got because it gives me more time in case I need to run slower being at the front of the race all right, up next we're going to the Expo Center where they have like exhibitions from vendors and picking up the t-shirts. So that's located at the Visa Athletic Center. So we're following this line of people to get inside there. All right, race shirt and Expo. Looks like there is a line here as well. So this is what the Expo Hall looks like from above. Various vendors you can buy last minute, you know, snacks, shoes, shirts, or other accessories for the races here. So, for the most part, these are all independent third party sellers here. And you can buy cool glasses or other accessories. Here's another vendor selling some shirts. This one's some sort of belt. All right, got my shirt. Moving on through the rest of this hall. Over here, you can see the layout for the various runs. So this is what the 5K looks like, which I'm not doing. And then this is what the 10K looks like. And then finally, this is what the half marathon looks like. Here's where you could see the medals for this race as well as the upcoming races. Look at that. And then these are the medals for this race. And then this is the Princess series. All right, we're all done with that Expo Center. We got our virtual queue entry card for the merchandise, and that's what I'm sure everybody here is waiting for. Uh, so yeah, let's go check out some of the merch they have. All right, so we're gonna be veering left in a second to go into that building where they have the merch. All right, so here we go. Into the arena. So they usually have you go around the arena and then enter on the far side. All right, what's the point of virtual queue when you still have to wait in this long line? I do not understand. I thought we would avoid this with a virtual queue, but that's not the case. All right, so we're in. They have this beautiful Encanto 
art that you can take a picture in front of. And this is what the run Disney section looks like. It's broken down by sections, so 5K is over there, uh, the Challenge 19.3 is over there, and then just general wine and dine merch is over here. So this is what the Spirit jersey looks like. It's very sparkly. By the way, the Spirit jersey was, doesn't even say what the price is. Hmm. This is what the bottle looks like. Wine and Dine 2022 Half Marathon Weekend. It's got some of the characters on this side. Looks like it's $54.99. No thank you, you're going back. This is what one of the small corksicle cups looks like. This is only $39.99. Very expensive. Some more of the merchandise here. They even have a Wine and Dine backpack from Loungefly. It's kind of cool. $75. Of course they have to have a wine glass here. The wine and dine glass. Looks like it's $19.99. Here's a pin that they have. $39.99. Here's another one. $17.99. This is like a long jacket that they have. It's $94 from what I can tell. It says wine and dine on the back. This is what the magic band looks like. Just in case you're curious. It's only a limited edition thousand. Look at that. One thousand. Not many. This is the perfect shirt for a spectator. I wish I was running. <laughs> this is what the 19.3 mile pin looks like. And then of course there's a magnet that you can put on your car too. And that's what this looks like. So for the 19.3, the two course challenge, they also have a like jacket for it. And I do like the coloring of it, but I just hate that it's like a very fitted shirt. The sleeves are very tight on your arms because of the material. This is what the 10K shirt design looks like. It's pretty cute. This is what the pin selection looks like. And there's also this one, and this also opens up into this. Look at this shirt that they got for the 10K one. Pretty cute. I like the color of it. Another shirt that they have. This is what the 5K shirt looks like. Pretty cool. This is what the pass holder section looks like. This is what the pass holder exclusive shirt looks like. And they also have a tumbler over here. And then they also have some pins. They're kind of hard to see from this angle. They don't look like anything special though. Looks like they have some generic Run Disney shirts over here. And pins. This is what the pins looks like. What the generic spirit jersey looks like. Every mile is magic. This could probably go in all the Run Disney races coming up. And then they have a generic Every Mile is Magic t-shirt over here as well. So here they have all the different icons, I guess. The 19.3 mile sign there with the genie. I got this one for the half marathon. I forget his name, I've only seen that movie once. And they have, oh, they have a character meet and greet over here. Look at that. Oh, and this is the big one. Look at this line for the genie over here for this character meet and greet. Wow. That's quite the character meet and greet. That's impressive. All right, and we're exiting. All right, so that was it. Probably a short video. I don't know what the time frame is for me editing this, but overall, I was so-so about most of the merch there. We just got two shirts. We got the genie one, the blue, dark blue one, and then we got the I wish I did it shirt for Crystal. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how the race weekend is. I don't know if I'm going to film it or not. I'll try to film it at least for TikTok, so be sure to follow me there. But that's it for today's video. See ya.